I remember once when I was about six years old, I was supposed to bring this library book back to the library, and I didn't want to do it. And so what I did was I hid it underneath a tree in my yard, and I didn't think anybody would find it. And then somebody found it and brought it to my father. And my father didn't like that. And he said, you're bringing this book back to that library, whether you like it or not. And you're going to pay whatever money that they make you pay for it being overdue. And I felt terrible. I did not want to go to that library. I was embarrassed. I, I just felt really bad. I brought the book to the library. I went in there. I went up to the librarian. I said what I had done. And I gave her the book. And this woman looked at me and she said, well, thank you very much for bringing this book back. We didn't think that we were ever going to get this book back. And then she said, thank you very much, and you're forgiven. And I was amazed that somebody could just forgive me like that and that everything would be okay. And she didn't make me pay the fine, and she just let it go because she was so happy to have the book back. And that's when I realized that it's possible to be forgiven and that it can make people feel really good. So if you want to make somebody feel really good, including yourself, then you can do the same thing for them. You can forgive them. And it leads to all kinds of good things. Where judgment doesn't lead to fun and it doesn't lead to good things, it doesn't make people happy, it doesn't make good things happen, but love and forgiveness do. And if you always remember that, you may find that good things happen for you.